The first step of this conversion process is going to involve actually checking the receiver magazine feed rails, which are basically these right here. Now, obviously, the 45 ACP is a wider cartridge than an 8mm Mauser or any other type of you know medium action to long action rifle cartridge. So what we have to ensure is that a 45 ACP will clear these rails with a pretty good bit on each side. We don't want to get hung up. Now the Rhineland instructions actually you know mention that some fitting may be required of these rails. I'm going to zoom in on this to show you exactly what they're talking about. Alright, you see those rails? right there that's what they're mentioning if you're if you drop a 45 ACP and slide it along those rails if it will not clear what you're going to need to do is take a Dremel tool and relieve it roughly about a millimeter on each side or less until the cartridge clears with and give it 20 or 30 thousandths on each side and call it a day alright it's really not a whole lot to that process now for the purposes of the video you can see my 45 ACP clears with plenty of room on each side so for the purposes of the conversion this receiver doesn't require any modification at all but it's very simple if you find that yours doesn't clear all it takes is a little bit of handy work with a Dremel and you're there literally a minute or two worth of work you can even use hand files for this process okay our next step is going to involve installing the magazine um, out of the whole conversion process this is the most involved part that will take you the most time but if you just get after it and think about what you're doing as you go, it's really not that difficult. This magazine, as you can see, replaces the floor plate on your Mauser, okay? And basically, what you're going to have to do here, where the mag catch is right here on the guard, you've got to cut clearances for the mag catch, which can be done a variety of ways. You can either cut just a large square window if you don't care about how it looks, or you can use some careful round files and a little bit of time and effort and you can make it exactly the same contour. What I'm going to do, I'm going to meet in the middle and I'm going to use probably a rounded file and I'm going to basically cut out a rounded segment, you know, just so it still has some rounded edges to it, doesn't look like just a square cut out. That's the way I'm going to do it. At this point we're basically just testing the fit. There could be some filing required on the magazine and or uh, conversion kit in order to achieve proper fit. This one drops in just fine. Whatever orientation that you set this up in, you want to make sure that you go ahead and keep it that way. You don't want to be trying to move it around or slide it back and forth. There is a little bit of forward and rearward play. So what I would suggest, since the lip of this magazine actually sort of force fits into the front of the actual uh, Mauser floor plate assembly itself or magazine assembly I would suggest to go ahead and give it a tap with a rubber mallet right here and push it forward and then use that for your basis I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a scribe and I'm gonna scribe out the areas that we need to stop at with the um, file and then I'm gonna use the appropriate size file to go ahead and start making my rounded cuts now as I get into it if I find that the metal is soft enough to merit the use I may go ahead and try a few round files and see if I can get it as close to the profile of the actual magazine catch assembly as possible. Now, I forgot to mention before, you will need an extended 1911 magazine catch assembly that does not come with the conversion kit. Um, the reason they recommend an extended one is obviously so because the thickness of the stock, it makes it a little bit easier to get to. You will need to inlet the stock, but we're going to do that all at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and make my hash marks and we'll start our file work. If you want, while you're scribing this piece, you can use the part you're fitting as a guide. Since I know that that is the exact type of arrangement I'm looking for, is the shape of the end of the magazine catch, what I can do is I can just, it's going to be hard to do in the camera, but you can lay the actual magazine catch on there and line it up with the outer contours, those edges and then draw the outline and that'll give you your basic shape. It's just something you can do. I'm going to go ahead and accomplish that now and I'll show some filing. Alright, what I've done here is I've found a uh, rotary cylindrical burr I'm going to use on the Dremel tool to actually cut this window. I've already started it a little bit just to make sure everything would line up for me the way I wanted. 
since this burr is about the right size, I'm going to stick with this, get it dressed in the way I want, and then finish up with hand files. All right. You don't have to use power tools. If you got hand files, you can take your time and use hand files. But I like power tools. Be careful though, because Dremels can get you in trouble if you get overzealous with it. Be sure you're wearing safety goggles before you start any metal work. That's very important. I'm going to get this all dressed up. I think you get the idea. We're going along our scribe marks and we're just making our cuts. I want to get this finished up and dressed up and we'll move on to the rest of the conversion. Very easy conversion. Anyone can do it with basic tools. Alright, at this point we've installed the adapter along with the mag catch, made sure that our cuts are nice and clear and that's all that was basically meant to accomplish. The mag catch clears, I've locked a few mags up in them, they lock up fine. Now to complete the process all we need to do is I'm going to have to drill three random holes, one eighth inch, in the back of the adapter. Of course make sure that you don't hit any screws that are through this adapter, they're about in this area. And I'm going to put one torsion pin in. But first we're going to drill the hole. And to be honest with you, I mean, you can chunk this up in a drill press if you got it, if you just want to be precise and faster. I'm just going to use a hand drill. Really not a whole lot to this process. I have my witness mark. We're going to start drilling. Alright, now that we have our first hole, we're going to go ahead and install one of our pins, and that'll give us a little bit of a solid arrangement to work around. As you can see, I've now drilled my 1 8 inch hole to get my first uh, pin in, and I've gone ahead and, and drove in my roll pin. So now all we're going to do is repeat this process, probably in a little trifecta, one here and one here, while making sure not to hit the screws, which are through the actual magazine body itself, the conversion body. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and we'll be ready to throw it in the gun and uh, do some, you know, testing to make sure we got good fit.